If you guys would like to win this free iPhone 7, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy District Trending here bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, I'm going to be bringing you guys the 100% truth about the rapper TayK47. Now before we get into the video, I got to give the shout out notification that is going to my boy Cham TV. Shout out to you man, thank you so much for having the channel notifications on. If you yourself watching this video right now would like a channel notification, shout out the start of my next video for all of my subscribers to see and help you gain a lot of subscribers. All you guys have to do is turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment on the video saying notification squad to be entered and if you are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because if you let me know you subscribe down in the comments below I'll personally reply to you and go check out your channel and give you advice on your videos and what will make you grow your YouTube channel Alright guys, so this video has been highly requested by a lot of people. Everyone just wants to know the 100% truth about Tay K. You know, what, how he came up from, you know, to, into the rap game. What was his childhood like? So, I got it all down, guys. I, I actually worked about two hours finding out all this information for you guys. So, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button. I really need it. That would mean the absolute world to me. And make sure you guys watch the video fully through because I'm going to be hiding an Amazon gift card code for one of you guys to win. So make sure you guys watch the video fully through. I'm going to have it hidden somewhere in the video. And it's going to like I'm going to hide it really well so everyone has a good chance at finding it so then it's not unfair. So if you do find it, shout out to you. Thank you. Like good stuff, man. Like you get free money basically. I, I don't know. I just kind of have it laying around. So I'm going to give it to one of you guys. All right, guys. So let's get right into this video. So basically, TK is actually a 17-year-old Texas rapper. His real name is Tamor Trayvon McIntyre, and he's been buzzing online since around 2015. His most recent single, The Race, has reached a much wider audience than he's used to. Tamor is originally from Long Beach, California. His mother is from Long Beach, but his father is actually from Compton. He lived there for the first eight years of his life before moving to Las Vegas. A year and a half later, when his father got out of jail, they all moved to the south side of Arlington, Texas. He moved to the west side though in grade 7 and that's when he attended Martin High School for his freshman year but was later kicked out and was placed in alternative high school. Now this was a huge turning point for Tamor or Tay K whatever you'd like to call him because around this time when he got um, pushed into alternative high school this is when he actually started mobbing with his friends. Now for everybody who doesn't know 100% sure what mobbing is I'm not really sure either I'm just assuming it's kind of like just doing gang type of activities so that means like robbing or like selling illegal substances. So he met up with a bunch of friends from this alternative high school and then he started mobbing in the streets of the east side. While TK was mobbing, he actually said in an interview he was kind of getting bored of it and wanted to start doing a new hobby. So that's when he actually started to pick up the mic and started rapping in 2015. He has multiple music videos that he's uploaded to YouTube and if you do notice in all of the music videos, they are all actually recorded in trap houses. That's because that's where he would stay for most of his upcoming. He didn't like to go home a lot because, I don't know, I guess his parents kind of like pressured him into going back to school and stuff like that but he just wanted to hang out with his friends and him and his friends all just stayed in trap houses all across the east side. His most recent project that he actually called was Santana World on July 18th, 2017. That was his most recent album, but everybody mostly knows Tay K for his hit song The Race that was released before he got put in jail. Now I'm going to start getting into the truths about Tay K. Not lots of people actually know all these things about him. I just told you guys a little brief summary about him. But now we're going to get into the real good stuff. So make sure you guys listen closely. So Tay K's really hit song The Race, which was released in mid-June, refers to the three months that he, the 17 year old spent as a fugitive fleeing a capital murder charge in his home of Texas. Now you guys heard me right. This whole thing was The Race is basically his way of saying that he's running from the cops for a murder charge. During the the race he was actually arrested by u.s marshals in new jersey on june 30th but right now he's currently behind bars in an adult jail in fort worth texas the same day he was arrested it's funny he actually released the music video for the race which was blown up on youtube twitter soundcloud every every like social media platform now tay k was originally on house arrest and then he decided to cut his ankle bracelet off and go on the run from the cops now he was on house arrest because him and seven of other friends that i mentioned earlier that he started mobbing with actually did a home invasion robbery on an old man named ethan walker now ethan walker was actually home that night and i don't think they knew that but while they were in the process of robbing the house 
they noticed he was there and actually killed him. That is very sad, and this is kind of like what inspired the song The Race because it's absolutely, like, I don't even, I can't even put it into words of, like, I don't like running from the cops for that long would actually probably be pretty scary because you never know if you should go outside you never know what you should do but yes a lot of people wanted to know what the race actually meant and that is 100% what it meant that is the absolute truth TK has been in a lot of crimes in his time and I'm not going to go into detail on every single one because I don't want this video to be like 15 minutes long for you guys because I doubt you guys want to watch that long but I'm going to give you guys a little breakdown of a quick summary of all of his crimes. When Tay K was on the run from the police, he was actually looking for a way of, to get money. Now he noticed the 65 year old man hit an ATM machine and then start walking home, so Tay K actually followed this 65 year old man home. This 65 year old man is named Skip Peep, and while he, Skip Peep was on his way home, he actually took the park home. He stated in an interview that taking the park home is a huge shortcut to get back home from his house. TK followed him home and while he was in the park there was nobody around so TK actually like beat him up and held him at gunpoint and wanted all the money he took from the ATM. Now this is some serious stuff guys because you gotta remember he's a 65 year old man and TK robbed him basically at gunpoint and this could have been a lot worse. Now I know there's gonna be a ton of TK fans still commenting on this video like free TK he did nothing wrong. Guys, if you are one of those people, I want you to listen to me right now. Imagine that was your grandpa or grandmother, and she was or he was walking home, and then some 17-year-old fugitive robbed them. Now, there's another crime that TK was actually in, and this one is basically he was inside the car of a drive-by shooting. This drive-by shooting actually happened on New Year's Day. It was at night, though, and I guess there was a little dispute going on with a 21-year-old girl named Sarah who's a university student. And then TK's friend, who was also who was the driver of the car, we don't know the absolute details of what happened that night because the 21-year-old Sarah actually did pass away that night because of what TK's friend did in the drive-by. The crazy thing is, the person who actually did the crime, TK's friend who did it, was actually a Marine for the U.S. He was a Marine for only a year and a half, but he was, still was a Marine, and the fact that he had the guts to do this kind of thing was absolutely crazy. Now, tk has been in a lot of crimes, but he's also done some good. Now, I know most of this video has been talking about a lot of crimes and bad things he's done, but he's actually done a couple good things. Now, before tk was arrested and put in jail, he talked to um, a famous YouTube podcaster named No Jumper to put out some merchandise for his fans. This merchandise was being sold all across the US and Canada, and I think there was a couple places in China, although I, they were probably just like fake type of things. But basically, that's not really the point. The point is, TK wanted to put out some merchandise for his fans that he just randomly got because of the song The Race. Now, this merchandise, it was actually some pretty simple stuff. It wasn't anything too crazy. It was basically just his mugshot on a t-shirt, but it was being sold by, like, the thousands. Now, I didn't mean thousands of dollars. I just meant by, you know, the quantity. These shirts were just flying off the shelves at any local Zoomies, any type of mall. It doesn't really matter where. They were being sold out. TK's actually also gotten some serious cosigns from other really famous rappers, such as Lil Yachty, Playboy Cardi, and Kodak Black. Kodak Black actually said he was interested in signing TK to his record deal. The only sad thing is, two days after he said that to TK, is TK actually got arrested. So I'm not really 100% sure when TK gets out that maybe Kodak's gonna hit him back up for this. We're just gonna have to wait and see, but that would be actually pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that has been the truth about TK. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please, please hit that like. That would mean the absolute world to me. And if we can hit, like, 350 likes, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much. We're about to hit 45,000 subscribers as well. Anyways, guys, it's been District Trending bringing you guys this brand video. Peace out.